Good morning and thanks for joining me today. So uh, this video is uh, part two of my um, visit to the CTCA, which is Cancer Treatment Centers of America here in Arizona. And um, part two, day one, which was yesterday, uh, Tuesday, uh, May 19th, 2015, and today is Wednesday the 20th, so I'm going to recap what happened yesterday. My first video, which was part one, was actually on the uh, flight down. Um, I caught a 6 p.m. flight out of um, SeaTac Airport to Arizona. And uh, just a quick recap, uh, CTCA has five hospitals or facilities in the United States, Chicago, Pennsylvania, Georgia, uh, Oklahoma in the state of Arizona so I'm in the state of Arizona today so uh, basically what happened is I decided to go for a second opinion I contacted the CTCA of course they checked all my insurances they are a for-profit organization and they make that clear that's not a secret my insurance passed so what they do is they book the tickets they ask when you can come down it's anywhere from a three to seven day evaluation they book the ticket, they pay for it and everything, and they also uh, will pay for someone to come with you. So, And that person could be anywhere in the United States. I'm from the, the West Coast. I could have had somebody flying from the East Coast. I give them their information, and they book their ticket, and they put us up um, either at the CTCA facility, which is beautiful, by the way, or any of their affiliate hotels um, in the area. They have deals with the hotels. And basically what you end up paying for is um, the stay which is $75 for one to six nights so if you stay one night or six nights it's a flat $75 plus tax so you just give your debit card or credit card when you walk in the door and of course if you've ever stayed in hotels you're charged when you leave and uh, that's pretty much most of the expense um, the hotel that I'm staying at gives free breakfast eggs bacon or sausage uh, with toast and I think hash browns or fruit your choice completely free they give you vouchers for that or you can eat at the CTCA 60% off everything and um, that's for the potential patient and the caregiver they also gave the caregiver uh, a certificate for a free massage they can use anytime it never expires so yesterday I went in they give you a sheet of appointments and it was a packed day I was completely overwhelmed um, you go in you get your tour of the facility by a survivor, a woman that works there who is a breast cancer survivor. She told me she went for her mammogram. They reminded her, you need to get your mammogram, your yearly mammogram. And they found something, so she went for her imaging. And she said as she was doing um, the imaging, the radiation doctor, radi radiology doctor, whatever, is looking at it at the same time you're doing the imaging. And when he's done, he comes right in immediately and tells you immediately, what was found you don't wait 24 48 hours in fact uh, most of their testing blood work all of that they can get results within a matter of two to four hours same day so you're not waiting uh, it's because in their facility they pretty much have it all there are some uh, a few instances where they would have to send some stuff off and you would have to wait for but for the most part you're getting everything on site so um, I met with uh, financial advisor, um, medical assistants, the surgeon, oncology doctors, nurses. I mean, basically what they do is they put you in a room and everybody comes to you. You're not going from room to room to room, area to area to area. It doesn't work like that. You're in a nice room and people, one after another, come in. They assess. I had two physicals. They did a crazy amount of blood work. Um, ask all kind of questions, review history from the beginning to the end, then they um, go over what they already know. Um, and one interesting thing that really um, may kind of shook me, I guess, and I'm not one who's easily shook by anything, anybody who knows me, I'm, that's just usually not my character, um, is they took my CT scan and they started from the top to the bottom and they go over everything whether it's worth anything or not. Um, they go over everything and um, they said about 60% of their people that come there when they go over the CT scan and go, everything, go over everything, 
majority of it is new information, meaning the previous doctors didn't tell them for whatever reason. We don't know. Nobody's judging anybody. But there was a couple things that were uncovered that um, shook me. And um, one of the things is they found a cyst on one of my ovaries. They believe it just to be a cyst. But that tells me in my mind that maybe um, uh, nuferectomy, I think it's called, it may be in order somewhere in my future. Um, and they also found these little, little, little tiny microscopic nodules on my right lung. So um, that could be either from if you've had um, pneumonia or it could be the precursor to cancer. I did have pneumonia last year. So that's something they said we need to monitor and really watch. And um, this was all new information to me. Um, so uh, I ended the day just meeting everybody. I have a whole day full of appointments today as well as tomorrow. Um, you're meeting, uh, I'm, I'm meeting with pastoral care today, uh, natural path, nutrition, um, a survivor support group. Um, you just meet with technicians doctors, oncologists, surgeons, they give you their assessment, what they think happened in your case, what they can offer you, what they're recommending. It's really no pressure, although they um, want to schedule surgery for like two weeks from now. And I'm like, this is just a consult. And they said, that's okay. You can cancel at any time. Um, think about it and you can call us and cancel if you don't want to go forward with it. So uh, when I did go into my room, they did uh, give me this beautiful pink pillow. It says hope. It might be backwards to you. They make someone makes them for uh, all the patients or people that are coming in. They're all unique and all different. That's what I got. They also gave me this attache case. It's very heavy um, with all kinds of information along with every business card of everybody I met and some that you can keep in there and it's packed full of information that I can bring back and share with any support group that I'm involved in. Um, you know, at the end of the day, knowledge is power, folks. Um, some said get a second opinion, and that's what I did. And um, we don't know. Today I can't tell you which way it's going to go. I haven't really made a decision. I'm just here to learn. I'm here to use discernment. Um, I'm, here, I'm here to lean on wisdom so that I make an informed decision about my life. Because at the end of the day, that's what it boils down to, your life and what's going to work best for you. And what I did take away yesterday from the CTCA is that it's about, it really is about the whole person. They're treating the whole person.